Welcome back in everybody, my name is Chris and this is blind tasting number two in our brand new Battle of the Bourbon series. We're trying to find the best barrel proof bourbon on the market. Now this is going to be a fun series. If you haven't already seen episode number one, go check it out right now. Find out which two whiskeys advanced. For those of you that aren't familiar with what's going on, we're doing this bracket style. So 16 bourbons are going head to head. We're going to see which one's going to come out on top. Each blind tasting is going to have four bourbons. Now, from these four, I'm going to pick my top two winners to advance to the next round. Top two from that round will advance to the finals. And so on and so forth until we get the winner. I put 16 bourbons in here that I really thought would compete well against each other and are available and actually findable on the market. You know, no unicorns, no uh, unicorns, I should say. Nothing impossible to find, all right? So it's a lot of fun so far, just episode number one. Already had some surprising. I, I didn't think 1792 was going to move ahead like it did, so we'll see what happens this round. I've got four poured. I've got my results right here. Let's go right into it. Let's find out what the best barrel proof on the market is. I'll shuffle these for you, just so just so you guys know, all right? All right, that's good enough. Of course, they were blind anyway to me to begin with, but we'll go right in this way. Got my tops here, water's ready to go. All right, let's go into sample number one. <sighs> Give it one more nose. You know, um, a lot of spice, I'll say a lot of spices coming through, feels like like a lot of rye spice. Nothing overly complex, a little bit of a drying oak note coming through as well. Not bad, um, smells hot, but it's not, um, it's not blowing me away, like nothing too sweet, nothing too oaky. It smells a little bit disjointed. I don't know if that makes, it doesn't really make sense with me saying it out loud now, but it, it doesn't smell like it's all uniform, if that makes sense. Definitely spicy though, it's got some spice to it, so. Woo! Ay, caramba, that's got some heat too. Palette's better. Um, man, a lot of spice coming through now, sitting on the center, really the, the middle of the palette. Not a massive mouth coating at all. Um, finishes up there a little bit with that like rye tingle coming through, but not a huge amount of flavor either. It's got a little bit of caramel sweetness, small amount of oak, but not a huge amount there either. Um, it's okay. You know, it's not blowing me away uh, like I was hoping. <laughs> like I was hoping with this with barrel proof lineup, pretty much everything should be good, right? Uh, it's okay though. You know, we'll give it a chance. We'll come back second time through. All right, let's go into sample number two. <sighs> hmm. Again, as with round number one, I'm gonna be calling out cinnamon on this one. Cinnamon is like predominant to me for some reason. I don't mind it though. Um, this has got a little bit of a dustiness to it as well, I would say. Not a massive punch in uh, proof either. One definitely smells like it has more rye spice and it has um, higher proof as well. Not a, not a bad nose on this though. Um, more well balanced than one I would say. So. I don't know. I mean, I, I, it, there's... A... Let me give it a sip first. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what that lacked on the nose, um, in sweetness, it made up for on the palate. It's extremely sweet on the palate, like candy, sugary sweet. Um, maybe like too sweet for my palate, honestly, and that's saying something. <laughs> not, not bad again. It drinks very low proof too. Um, with it drinking so low proof, I'm getting almost no finish, not much of a mouth coating, but the the almost like butterscotch sweetness um, sticks out a lot. Going back in on the nose now, I'm getting more sweetness too. Happens a lot if you take a sip, you go back to that bourbon. I mean, you know, more more notes tend to come throughout on the nose too. So 
Not bad. I think the sweetness may be a little bit over the top for me on that one, though. All right, let's go to sample number three. Oh, cherry. This is like a um, cherry compote. That, did I say that right? Compost? Compote? <laughs> like the little cherry jam thing with fruit in it. You know what I'm talking about. Cherry and um, banana. I'd say banana coming through too. This is um, chocolatey as well. Chocolate, cherry, banana. Sounds good to me. Nice baking spice. It smells like a really creamy nose too, which is nice. Mmm. Ooh, that's nice flavor. So that is the center of a chocolate covered cherry. Think like those chocolate covered, co covered cherries candies that your wife wants you to buy her for Valentine's Day, but you never do. And the inside of those, it's like that mushy, creamy center with a little bit of the cherry, a little bit of chocolate coming through both together. That's that in a glass. And that's good. Um, it doesn't drink that hot. Again, pretty mellow on the palate, so not a huge finish or mouthfeel. But um, the flavors that come through on that are really, really nice. Early favorite, probably, in this round. I really like that one. All right, let's go to sample number four. <sighs> Again, um, maybe I've got banana on the mind, but it's like, it's very, it's got a, it's banana forward, you know, banana forward with like brown sugar sprinkled on there. Brown sugar covered banana. Whew. Okay, that's got some proof punch too. Ooh, took the hair right out of my nose. Good nose though. Again, a very desserty nose, very inviting nose. It's deep, it's rich. It's inviting. Woo! Jeez! That burn. Oh man, that burn. Um, I don't take two sips, but I need to take another sip with that. That is hot. Very, very uh, Bananas Foster-like to me. Um, with both three and four, you know, kind of like a banana dessert is what it seemed like, banana split. With cherries on top for three. Four is more like a, think like a brown, sh like a sugar-covered banana, like a frozen sugar-covered banana you'd get from, I don't know, wherever you get those from, the carnival. I don't know. That's what it's like, though. Oak is coming through. A lot of baking spices, but it's a, it's heavy brown sugar. Heavy brown sugar for me. Um, and a nice balance of sweetness, really. I mean, the, the proof will hit you in the face. Kentucky Hug is there. But I think that adds to the mouthfeel of finish. So definitely a fan of four. Good. Round one down, you know. Um, let's go back through these. I'll take a little time, rest the palate. We'll come back. We'll see what we get. All right, we're back. Took about 10 minutes there. Let's go back into four. Things change when we go back down the line, so let's see what we got. Woo, okay. I gotta take the caps off these, apparently, because that, like, stung me again. This was the hot one. But this... Mm. <laughs> Takes hot to another level, man. Better. This is just heavy sugar again. Um, you know, what I, what was it, two that I described as like sugary sweet? It's kind of coming through on the nose for me like this too. This has got more fruitiness though. Um, like again, like, like the banana note. I like the nose, I really do. Make you breathe some fire, man. But that is that is delicious. Mouth coating finish, Kentucky hug. It's all there. It's all really good. Um, I'm getting a lot more sweetness on the palate. Not a huge amount of oak. So this probably isn't that old. Um, maybe seven years-ish. 
but I think that's the max. You know, I can't, I can't imagine it's much older than that. Nice sweetness though. I'm not getting drying oak. I really appreciate that. I didn't get drying oak really on any of these, so I couldn't be more grateful about that. All right, back to number three. Oh, it's just cherry. Just cherry, man. So much cherry. Chocolate cherry goodness. That Those are the big notes coming through. I like it. I really like that. It's literally a dessert in a glass. If you want dessert in a glass, it's that. And it's like 20, it tastes like it's 20 proof points lower than this, whatever, whatever it is. Mmm. I'm getting tobacco coming through on that now. Wow. Usually I don't get tobacco notes or leather notes coming through until I'm pushing like 12 years. That um, right center of the palate gave me tobacco. I don't know. But again, very, very chocolatey, very cherry, some banana. It's really a dessert. You know, it's really a dessert in a glass. If you want a dessert that you light on fire, go for four. If you want a dessert you just eat cold, three. <laughs> Both are good in their own way, though. All right, sample number two. Hmm. You know, this nose is giving me some alcohol burn now. Uh, first time through, wasn't really like that. After sitting and opening up for about 15 minutes, I'm getting alcohol burn. And it's odd because it doesn't smell that high proof either, at least compared to like four. But it's a lot of astringency. Um, this was the one I described as so sweet. Very odd because the sweetness does not match on the nose for me. Almost seems like a bitter oak mixed with ethanol. Like a fuel-filled charred oak barrel. Yeah. Sweetness holds true, though. Holy cow. It's like... You ever, like, bite into, like, a Smarties candy and it's, like, so sweet it makes you, like, pucker? That's, like, what that is. I don't... For a barrel proof, very odd. Um... Maybe slight fruit coming through, but it's like the sh most sugary fruit you can imagine. Like, think of like, you know, I'm getting a little bit of bitterness too, so like maybe like a sugar coated grapefruit. Does that make any sense at all? Probably not. Ignore that. That probably is not a real tasting note. Sugar coated fruit that's bitter, but it, I mean, it's, it's, it's dark. You know, it's gotta be a dark fruit too, because it's barrel proof. So, someone let me like a sugar coated plum, but it's it extra sweetness. You know, a lot of sugar. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Finally, back to number one. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, I think I definitely prefer... Uh, I don't know. This, this, like I said, this one's coming through spicier to me. I appreciate the rye spice. I really do. I like rye spice a lot. You know, I like my whiskey a little bit spicy. Um, if I want that much rye spice, though, a lot of times I'll go for a rye whiskey. You know, it just makes sense. Alcohol burn again. A um, little bit off-putting, but not te not terrible. You know, not as much as, as two here. Mmm. Fruitiness. A lot of spice and a lot of fruitiness actually on that. This almost has like an earthiness to it too. Um, like a little bit of a, a grassy note, which could possibly be like the alcohol burn I'm describing or just like earthy. You know, just a little bit earthy, I guess. Some pepper notes, a little bit of like almost like an orange zest, lemon zest maybe. Not bad, you know, not bad at all. Let's take 10 minutes here. Um, I'll go off camera, see, try them side by side. We'll come down to our final four. We'll see what comes out on top. All right, we are back. I took the time. I've decided what my lineup's gonna be here. Let's go right into the results here. So we'll start with number four, or my fourth choice, I should say. It gets confusing with all these numbers. My fourth choice is sample number four, 
Larceny Barrel Proof. Wow, okay, so this is the A120 batch. So this is last year's batch. All right, the first batch of this year, I'm sorry. Um, and I was not a big fan of this bottle. I am still yet to try the second batch of Larceny. Hasn't shown up here yet, uh, that I've seen at least. I've heard it's substantially better than this. So, again, Larceny is good for the value. It's about 50 bucks, so not terrible. I mean, I would probably pay about that, honestly. I think it's priced right about where it should be. The sweetness, if you really like a sweet bourbon, um, it's weeded. You know, that makes sense why I was describing that much sweetness coming through, but it was like to the point where it was making me cringe, like off-putting sweetness. Normally not the case with bourbon, but a lot of us bourbon lovers, we have sweet tooth. So if you like that, go for the larceny. Coming in at number three was sample number two, Bullet Barrel Proof. Wow. This is another bottle. Do I have that out here? Yes. This is another bottle I have not had in a very long time. Um, six months, maybe. And I remember it being like good, but nothing that stood out. And that's kind of how it was today. This got a lot more spicy as the bottle opened up to me. Um, a lot more of that like rye spice came through. You know, barrel, the bourbon at least. I'm um, sorry, barrel. <laughs> Bullet bourbon, you know, they pretty much, we know we, they use four roses. So the rye spice coming through makes sense now, you know, why that would be a blend of the 10 recipes they use from Four Roses. So, a good whiskey. Again, this is about, I think I got this for about 50 to 60 bucks, and that was a year ago-ish. So, you know, good value. $60 price point, though, especially for barrel proofs, is tough. We know that. Number two choice. Sample number three. Wow, okay. Old Forester 1920. Oh, can I reach this? This is a good bottle, guys. I mean, I don't know how many times I can tell you this. 1920, Prohibition style. Old Forester, probably my favorite distillery in the world. Um, wow. Not even barrel proof. You know, not even barrel proof. And I didn't describe it as as much of a mouth coating, as much of a finish, but the flavor profile that came through. Classic bourbon, delicious dessert. It's, it's a winner. $60, it's a winner every time. Please get this bottle, honestly. Please get this bottle if you can. It is really, really good juice. Oh, not surprised that one advanced, honestly. Not surprised at all. Sample number one. Now, this was the hot one, like really hot one. Sample number one. <laughs> That's why it was the hot one. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Now, as many of you probably recall, this place, I think, number two in my best single barrel bourbons um, series. You know, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. Incredible bottle, um, incredible bottle, incredible flavor profile. I put this as my most underrated whiskey of 2019 in my whiskey awards, um, cause it is, you know, 55, 60 bucks, most parts of the country. The store picks you can get out of these are really, really good. Everything about this whiskey just shouts delicious. It really does. Especially if you're a barrel proof whore like me, which a lot of us are. Well, thank you all. So much for hanging out. Um, this was blind number two. We've still got like five more of these episodes to go. So we got a lot more whiskey to drink. You know, these are barrel proof. So I can only film one, one of these a day pretty much or one of these at a time. Gotta let the palate rest. Wanna be able to taste notes for the next tasting. So, <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate y'all hanging out. I appreciate you watching. You know, if you like these videos, please do let me know. You know, let me know which of these four would have placed top two for you. Uh, what was your favorite in the lineup? What was your least favorite? You know, uh, what's your go-to barrel-proof bourbon? You know, let me know that. I, I'd like to hear. Um, I have a brand new website, so bourbonsane.com. And what I'm doing is I'm not only am I selling my merchandise and challenge coins, things like that out of there, but I'm also doing whiskey reviews and news. So I'm putting out a weekly written whiskey review, you know, my tasting notes, nosy notes, all that, um, every Monday. So Monday and then I'm also breaking news in the industry. So I'm really trying to, you know get news out to all of you about what's upcoming in bourbon and whiskey. So if you're interested in that, go check the website out, bourbonsane.com. Let me know what you think of the website and I'd love your feedback. And I'd love for you to, to put your email in so you can get notified when I do put something out on the website. And that includes, you know, video reviews. If you hit the bell notification on YouTube, you'll get notified when I drop a new review or live stream on YouTube too. So appreciate you all so much. I will see you next Saturday for blind tasting number three. It's going to be a good one. We got a lot of whiskey left to drink. Stay insane, everyone. Mm -hmm.